What's going on guys? Welcome back. And uh, we're going to do, today we're going to do a modern, a little, a little break up the Vintage Cube, but we're going to do a Vintage Cube after this. We're going to do a modern, uh, some modern matches with the Mono Blue Tezzeret deck. Um, this was submitted by uh, Dankus Dags, who is a patron. So if you guys are interested, you can check out my Patreon page. It's in the description below. Um, and basically we have things like, uh, we got Thopter Foundry and Sword of the Meek, so you got that combo. You got Ensnaring Bridges and Vidak and Shackles, that's interesting. You got Lodestone Golem, three Jaces, one four mana Tezzeret, four five mana Tezzerets. I actually, there were three, there were three Tezzerets of, of this kind in the deck and one different because I didn't own that one. I didn't own the fourth. And I, I didn't, so I was like, why does this say I don't have a Tezzeret? That's weird. I should have all the Tezzerets. And then I was like, oh, there's four of them and I only own three. Wow. I... It's rare that you see all four Tezzeret the Seekers. But, I mean, Tezzeret, at its worst, I think, is negative four. And then you search out, like, a Hedron Archive or a Lodestone Golem or a Witchman Orb or an Ensnaring Ridge or a Veldek and Shackles for even less than that, keeping Tezzeret alive. Which is pretty strong. Like, just being able to search for any of these combo pieces uh, is pretty good. Main deck Pithing Needle, just because you can search for it and uh, cast whatever you want. You can name whatever they have. Obviously, Chalice on two is where you want to be. Well, Chalice on one for two mana, rather. And then you have Engineered Explosives. Um, I like that you have Spire of Industry, because then your Engineered Explosives can be for more than two, which is nice. And then Sideboard's pretty standard. Uh, four copies of Surgical Extraction is interesting. Especially with no ways to make them discard things, as far as I can tell. But, I mean, still... It's a useful card in modern. Uh, one relic, one another pithing needle, one graph digger's cage, one revoker, two spell skite, which is probably fine against burn. Another witch pain orb, same thing. Thorn of amethyst, thor, two thorn of amethyst, and uh, one crucible of worlds, which is interesting. But you do have ghost quarter, so you can just crucible on that if you want to. Anyway, this deck looks very, very interesting, and uh, I am looking forward to trying this bad boy out. So let's go to constructed and modern and modern blue tesseract all right let's see what happens i'm hoping that the modern cubes fill because uh you know there's a lot of people playing vintage cube cube and q are two words that sound very very similar is freeze is that a sorry i don't even understand the words that you say sometimes is freeze? That's <laughs> sorry. This is not a sentence. I hate to, I hate to break it to you, but that is not how words work. All right, we lost the die roll, so that's unfortunate. <clears throat> is no freeze? Is phone no string? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I I understand now. Now it's all coming together. Actually, I do understand what you're saying right now. Which surprises me, I think. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so we got someone in the queue, but now we have to wait for them to actually decide whether they're going to play first. This is a tricky decision. I can understand why you don't know if you're going to play first or not. It's tricky. I'm going to give him the old hey there. Oh, turn one Lotus Bloom? Oh, we just have it all. Except for only one island for this Vidalcan Shackles, but... It's fine, Frank. We friend eight month is to understand one each other. Yeah, that makes total... I, I totally understand. You are not wrong. Trump card. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Uh, I You will definitely find this on YouTube, probably on Saturday. So if that's... If that's a thing that interests you, check it. Oh, another island? Beautiful. Just beautiful. A Mist Veil Plains. What does that say? It says they're playing Enduring Ideal. That's what it says to me. Or some sort of enchantment. Martyr. What is this? What was that? Why was it over there now? I don't understand. I could see some squadron hawks popping off. I'll take it. 
Can I just steal? If they tap... Oh, we can't because we're not going to have five. But oh, man. To live in a world where I can steal your Martyr of Sands. That's what I want to live in. Weathered... Weathered Charlie. That's old Weathered Charlie. I don't know why I laughed at that. That's not even... That's not even his real name, you know? I'm just going to pop this dude off because the Staring Bridge doesn't really do much here. Four cards in hand, two one ones. I'd rather just have this in place so we can use it next turn without having to crack our, our Lotus Bloom. So next turn we actually get three, four, six, we'll have seven mana so we can go Jace and activate. Or Jason Bridge. Jason Bridge happens to be the name of my Tom Clancy-esque spy character as well, so that's real convenient. The Adventures of Jason Bridge. Oh, flagstones of Trocair. Long hair, Trocair, that's what I always say. Trocare don't care? Hmm. That has care twice, though. It's not as... It's not as flowy like the long hair would be. Okay. Okay, well... Can I steal that? Probably not. If all the cards in your hand are white cards... Upgrade Brigade! Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, anyway. So, okay. If they happen to have four spells in hand, we can take this. Because they're going to gain nine. Or they're gonna, we can't take this because they're going to gain 12. But if they only have three white cards in hand, then we can take it. So that's interesting to me. So I guess we're going to try to do this. But what happens if it doesn't work? I guess we can actually just ensnaring bridge, right? Instead of jacing. Because they also pop their Martyr of Sands if they do this. Alright, we get to see your entire hand, I presume. Wow, Path, Path, Hawk, Martyr. Seems good. I do not get to steal your 6-6. Six, six. Well, pretty sure we're just going to play... Uh, we can also play Jason Bounce this, which is nice. Because they can't really do anything against that. So I think that's actually what we're going to do. Because then they just have a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Can I give you a little boop? <clears throat> well, I did it. It's interesting that this moved over here. It was over here, so. All right, so now we know your entire hand. Man, Weathered Wayfarer searching for any land is pretty OP. Although if they ever play that Amir of the Sky Ruin, we're just gonna, we're gonna feel to ruin that thing to, to the Stone Age. Unless they get a ghost quarter right now. Oh god, they're going to do that. I actually didn't play Academy of Ruins because I wanted to save it from like a ghost quarter-like effect. Because it felt like all their lands now are pretty innocuous. Okay, that actually makes sense. That's good. No, no ghost quarter then. <clears throat> so, flagstones is gone. So we do have to, we can go land bridge and that's it, right? Well we can actually go land bridge steal something, so that's pretty cool. Sarah Ascendant can probably never attack. So Squadron Hawk gone. So we know four of the five cards, we don't know what you drew. Seems good. That's a surprising amount of card advantage for uh for a white deck that's playing a bunch of one mana creatures. Fire of Industry. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. We have so we can actually steal the hawk, which is pretty good, and also play Ensnaring Bridge. 
which would be one two cards we have two cards left in hand um i think we'd be safe we can also start plussing jace one two three four five six seven Gamaset, what's your YouTube question? <clears throat> um, honestly, I think we know what we're doing this turn, so I'm actually just going to look at your library. But then you can just shuffle. It doesn't, so it's not super relevant. It might be better to look at our library, but... One, two, steal, one, two, three, bridge. That's the play. We can also take their Weathered Wayfair. Um, but we're going to be able to... If we took this, then uh, Jace gets hit. I guess that's probably worse. Um, we can actually put that on the bottom. I don't think we need to land this at this point. Uh, the only things that we're trying to stop are Sarah Ascendance, and that's pretty fine. Like, we don't need to steal a Sarah Ascendant because we can just ensnaring Bridget. So, Jace actually might be a win con here. How many more turns do we need? 12, so... Goes to 8. 10, 12, so 4 turns? Actually, that's not terrible. Martyr of Sands down. We played a Plains, which we didn't know about. <clears throat> so, that's good. Squadron Hawk down. So, when it gives me an ad that is long enough for us to skip, if I skip, does it cost you money? I want to support you. Um, I actually don't know that. That is a good question. I've never actually looked into that though, so I, I honestly, I wish I could give you more info, but I don't know. Okay, so you have five cards and the one card we didn't know about from last turn. Do you path this guy? And then attack Jace for one? That would be sweet. We're going to keep it like this. I want to get a free thing. See, now we're probably jacing because we get a bunch of... A brainstorming, rather, because we get a bunch of free mana. So we have three, four, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana this turn. If we can hit, like, a Tezzeret or something, it's very strong. Path of that guy. Okay. Um, I think we probably want the Swamp here. Like I said, I mean, it doesn't really matter about the... So we could literally go to zero cards here, but I think we can do that even if we brainstorm. All right, so we go to four. We got three, four for the for the Golem, two for the Chalice. We get to play a land. And then we have one card in hand. And even if they attack with everything, like... So one path is gone. Trinket Mage and Pithing Needle. Huh. Well, that's not going to do it. Uh, I'll keep the island. Put the academy ruins. What are we going to do here? We're going to go... Actually, we can, pithing, we can Trinket Mage for a Mox. So, one, two, three, Trinket Mage. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two... Their hand is two squadron hawks and a path. So I'm pretty sure we actually... How much does Chalice on one hurt us? Let me take a look at this deck real quick. Uh, Not at all, it seems like. The only the only card is the Pithing Needle, which we just actually put back. Which we can actually just get as well. Like That's also an option, but I don't really think... We care about it. I don't care about your life total, and I don't care about Weathered Wayfarer. I kind of care about Weathered Wayfarer, I guess. But we can just steal that guy next turn. So I guess I don't care as much. So I'll play this guy. One, two, three, four, and then we can do Chalice for two, which is pretty strong. Uh, Engineered Explosives is actually not bad on one. I'm going to grab the Engineered Explosives instead. 
being able to kill all your things is pretty good. Um, I don't want you to actually be able to path this guy, so we're going to play Chalice first. Yeah, that seems good. So you're probably going to path in response, which is totally fine. I'd rather have an island than a guy that I'm probably never attacking with. Cool. And good to go. Do we play land this turn? No. So Jace is going to take a hit, but... Alright, so we know you have Amiria, Squadron Hawk, Squadron Hawk, and the two cards you've drawn since that point. Yeah, we drafted a Foil Jace and an Ensnaring Bridge and an Engineer Explosive. It was very good. It was a very good draft. And a Masterpiece Vidalcan Shackles. Yeah, they know what's happening, so... This doesn't kill any of my things, right? No. No, it does not. Yep, sack that martyr. Oh, you're not going to reveal Emiria, so I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the Emiria, but... Alright, so Sarah sent Squadron Hawk, Squadron Hawk, and an Emiria in hand. Like, you're very far from actually having Emiria turned on. Enough to get some Oreos to calm myself. Yeah, well, that's rough. I feel like I'm going to be playing word invention decks like this so you can mainboard, sideboard some impactful. Don't say mainboard. Some impactful one ofs like Grafttaker's Cage, Dampening Sphere, Witch Banner. I mean, it already has those, but it has four Tezzeret, which is basically the same thing. Isn't that, isn't that not the same thing? Like, four mana, five mana Tezzeret, and you just play Tezzeret for five. I mean, if you're going to word of invention, like, you're, you are going to have to uh, tap a bunch of your artifacts, which I understand that. Like, that makes sense, but. What's our win con here? It might just be Jace. Like, we're probably just grindy jacing. Grindy jacing. What does that even mean? You played this guy, so you got these two. I guess Lodestone Golem is a win condition. Um, No, you can have that path to exile. That's pretty good. Oh, I wonder what they just tried to do. They just try to path something? That would have been sweet. Alright, that'll win the game. That's pretty good. They're at 41 and we just won the game. But excuse me? Um, yeah, because like we have four Tezzeret, which is basically the same thing. You're going to negative four Tezzeret and search for any... Any, any of these cards, right? Ensnaring, uh, War of Invention's great, but Tezzeret also doubles as a win condition, and I don't think you want both in the deck. So I think, like, you either go one way or the other, and I think this is just a Tezzeret deck, right? Plain Chains of Mistopheles? Is that the white? Oh, okay, I see. You, you corrected your typo quickly enough so that I feel bad about my decisions. Um, don't care about Spellscape, don't care about Revoker, don't care about Cyclonic Rift, don't care about Crucible, <sighs> I don't care about many of these cards. I don't think our sideboard is really great against this matchup. Wouldn't this just be better if we replaced this entire deck and ran a Storm List? Touche, touche. Gunners, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Bottled Cloister is terrifying, because if they kill your Bottled Cloister, you don't get your hand back. And Modern is a format that can very easily kill or bounce your Bottled Cloister. I, I, I think playing Bottled Cloister and not being able to uh, mitigate your own hand size against your opponents is also pretty loose. But that's just my two cents. Uh, I don't think Thorn is great. Thorn actually seems contradictory to our entire deck. It feels like it might hurt us more than... Uh, more than them. Gunners, I did get your email. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. 
I was actually going to do your stipulation after this, so. Because you said that it was uh, Thursday worked for you, and you're and you're right here, so. You need a haircut. Uh, Mox, Opal, Witchman, Never Thought of It's not terrible. It's harder to cast Thopter Foundry in this deck, though. You only have four sources other than Mox Opal that do it. Um, I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand's not great, but it's also not terrible. I'm actually going to keep this guy. Because it lets us play... Um, it lets us play something on turn two, and it also gives us a way to interact with their stupid Martyr of Sands. So we can actually get it down on turn dose. And then they can't activate their Martyrs, which puts them reasonably behind when it comes to Sarah Ascendant, which is nice. Thraven Inspector and... Littering and... Smoking the Reefer. Let's go, Marty of Sands. Hey guys, listen. No lap dances in the chat, okay? Well, we're not blocking this guy. I'll take one whole damage. I like the two people put the deck post the deck list at the same exact time. That's good. That's efficient. That's efficient chat usage right there. So next turn we can cast Jace and Sword of the Meek, which is nice. This turn we're probably just going to play Ensnaring Bridge. We can't do it now, but... Yeah, Dr. Funkburger MD, that, that, that simulation was fantastic. I was very much on board with that. There are so many. There were a ton of epic moments in that. Whenever they're like, "Oh, Oblivion Ring, your uh, Elspeth," and I'd be like, "Okay, well, I'm gonna play Veraska, kill the Oblivion Ring, get my Elspeth back, and then plus up Elspeth." Is that okay? I don't care. I don't care if it's okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. Wow, Hungry Howie's closed for good. That's no good. Oh wow, this is a lot of things that. I wonder at what point they're going to path this guy, gain a million life, and then just kill us. That's what I'm wondering. It's actually probably Mind Stone. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Go ahead, buckle it, I dare you. Blue. And this guy. So they can actually just go... Womp, womp, womp at Jace, which is fine. This, these guys also get to attack right now. So, Jace is basically taking a million. Oh, um, that's pretty good. Did we play land this turn? Oh, we did not. So we can put back... Hmm. So we can actually go land. We can play these two. Oh, this is going to be good, actually. Oh, this is actually fantastic. Um, Jace, Tezzeret, land, sword. This is what we were hoping. <laughs> All right, your move. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, good times, good times. I'm just going to 
brainstorm with Jace and then find the perfect three cards to uh, discard with. Weathered Wayfarer. Unfortunately, the cards we have on top now are not ideal. And we don't have a second blue right now, so we're actually going to draw three. We're, we know the one's a Jace. That's what we were hoping for. So now we can actually put these two back and play Island Tezzeret, still have nothing in hand, and then use Tezzeret's ability. And search for an artifact with a cost of four or less. What do we want here? Do you just want Thopter Foundry? That seems pretty insane, right? Yeah, let's do that. Having a good time. Well, I hope our opponent can draw an artifact removal spell. And by that, I mean I hope they cannot. Even if they can, like, what do they... If they get rid of Bridge, like... That's fine. We can make a million dudes. If they get rid of Thopter Foundry, that's fine. If they get rid of Revoker to gain life, that's fine. Like... I mean, I think Bridge is obviously your first target, but... I'm on that ice cream selling grind. <laughs> oh, Matthew Ori, that's awesome, buddy. I like that we can still hang out while you're selling the ice cream. Selling the ice of the ice of creams. This deck is sweet so far. Um, I'll sacrifice this one. You know how we do. It's gonna be Jace. Oh, that's right, we actually did a little Alright, we're gonna look at your card. Uh, you can, you can, you can have that. It doesn't matter because, uh, one. Oh, we're just gonna, oh, I thought they, I thought they conceded. I was like, oh, we're just gonna win the game. Uh, I'm actually gonna, we can't attack actually, so we're actually gonna sacrifice this. No. You. You. Always yield to that. Don't care. Can I get this to always yes? Probably not, right? I guess we have to hit the yes. All right. I guess we're just going to attack here. Attack you for one. And I think we're good to go here. This is where they weathered Wayfair. One, two, three, four, five. We don't control more lands than you, so you actually can't weather wayfair there. So don't be trying to don't be trying to weather wayfair when you can't. That ain't that ain't right. World Cups come and go, but my 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 stream is forever. Wait. I don't think that makes any sense. Sure. Oh, we got a Lotus Bloom next turn? What a time to be alive. Thraben Inspector, Martyr of Sands. Okay. Okay. Oh, you played neither. Let's add two. You. I'll pay one colorless. Why are you asking me which one to pay? They're both colorless mana. Mm. 
I wish it didn't ask me to yield all the time. Would you like to do this? Yes, I always want to do it. It's the whole point, man. They could always go path of this guy and then next turn Martyr of Sands gain a million, but that still doesn't let them use these guys. They, they didn't play one of these for some reason. So I assume it's some kind of shenanigans here. Do you want my Lotus Bloom to come into play? Also, let's talk about how good Chalice of the Void for one here is. All right, there we go. Resolves. Unfortunately, we can't search for it, but... Sometimes you don't have to, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to. We have no one power things on board, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, let's get that engineer explosives. Did I, say, I, I said chalice for one, I meant engineer explosives. Just because magic is hard. Mm, done. I'm going to play this for one. I'm going to brainstorm so I can put a card in my hand. But I'll make sure it's a card I can play afterwards. Let's just do this now. We could have dealt one more point if we activated the Thopter, but uh, then we don't get to play Mindstone. And I'd rather play Mindstone here, just because that's better mana use. And we can also untap this Mindstone and the other one. And I feel like we're in pretty good shape here. I don't know. I feel like we might have this game. Are you sure you wish to draw a card? Huge fan. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. I think we're going to have to go to game four after this. Game three. Game three after this. And uh, see if they can win then. It's not looking good, though. Pithing Needle. All right. Well, let's add two. Which one of these two would you like to use? Uh, it doesn't matter, Magic. It really doesn't matter. I swear to you. I mean, what do you name? Doctor Foundry, Tezzeret, or Jace? Because they're all pretty good, and we already have a million Doctors on board. I gotta hope there's no like destroy all artifacts in white, right? I don't think there is, but what do I know? He doesn't know much. Oh, Austere Command would be gas, but they don't have the mana for it, because they only have four mana, and even if they play land, they only have five mana, so. Austere Command would be gas, though. We still get to, to keep two Planeswalkers on board, and a Trinket Mage, so... You know. I guess they could go artifacts and creatures with red mana cost three or less. Just to get rid of Trinket Mage, but again, still two Planeswalkers, which is pretty good. I feel like they have to go Thopter Foundry, but isn't the damage done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten dudes. I don't know. Unseen Spectre, 15 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. That's over a year. I wonder if they're... they're they got to be thinking about the best card to pick here. Jace is an option. Thought profoundly. Okay, sure. Okay, we knew that guy was there. Yeah, Jace is the card that can kill them by themselves, but it's not going to be. I mean, we have 10 power in, in, in Thopters on the board, so. And there you go. All right.
They also have Emiria, and they have four planes, so they are quite a ways away. We're just going to Jace here. Oh, wow, that's pretty bad. Um, Put these two back. Uh, now we're just going to actually plus and try to Tezzer it next turn for the win. Um, I don't know how we're going to get that many cards in our hand, but maybe there's a way. Uh, I haven't talked about the new Sarkon, or I haven't talked about both of those, but I did see the new Liliana, and I'm not that impressed with it. Which is hard for me to say, because I'm usually not, uh... I'm usually not hard on Planeswalkers. Oh, I guess we can actually crack both our Mindstones and our Hedron Archive to, uh... So this would be one, two, three, four cards. Yeah, we can do that. Disco, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, just gonna, doesn't matter. Untap you and you. And then we have blockers, which is good. Yep, all right, see what happens. You can draw two with Hedron Archive. That was good. I thought those caps were intentional. I think your finger hit the caps lock right around the W and draw. <laughs> and then it was all downhill from there. Or are we doing a SpongeBob meme? I couldn't tell. Good games. I think that means we won, but it's hard to say. Let me ultimate this Tezzeret. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is ult my Tez. I got a feeling I am the only one. Let me ult this Tez. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to ask him for it. We're just having a good time. This is just magic. Oh, they're going to just... Unless they're going to kill us this turn. That'd be hilarious. I don't think that's what they're going to do, though. Oh, God. It is austere command. Oh, they're just tapping. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, sacrifice this. Sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. Draw the cards. Gonna make a thing. Gonna jeez. Tezzeret City. This seems like a lot of damage. I don't I'm, I'm not a magic expert or anything, but... Is that what's... Oh, the old negative 72. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like, I like magic when we were able to play fun interactive games. That's good times. I don't know if our opponent had a fun interactive time, but we did. So, it's, it's, I want to say that's the important part, but it's not It's not necessarily the important part. The important part is everybody has fun. So, I think going negative 72 and me attacking for 75 is, I think that's fun. That sounds like fun to me, so. Maybe I have no friends. All I want to do is alt my... That's a Sheryl Crow song, isn't it? So I came to work and there was nothing to do since it's Midsummer Festival in Sweden tomorrow. So I said I had to go check on Uncle Frank who's been sick in Cube lately. And my boss bought it. And here I... <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. One fun interactive magic bug. Jay Sizzle, thank you so much. Appreciate it, buddy. Um. Okay, so one of my... One of my least and most favorite parts about critiquing decks is when you play a match and then you're like, I have no changes to make. I don't know what I can even do that could that could improve things because things went well. Uh, so on one hand, I don't mind it. I like it a lot because things went well and the deck did well. On the other hand, it feels like I didn't do any work. I'm just like, oh, I, I, I have no suggestions here. But yeah, well, like we didn't see anything in that matchup that was really uh, needs improvement. This, I want to be honest with you, this one new Phyrexia surgical extraction and these three modern master surgical extractions is real triggering because it's not efficient. It's just I want them on one stack, but uh, it is what it is. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. We'll just play it again. We'll see what happens. I might want some damnations, but then we don't have we have one like four black sources in the main deck. I've been two miniature drafts this week. I'm one twelve so far. 
I'm not a good cube. <laughs> Chad, it definitely takes some practice, buddy. You definitely have to get a feel for like what's good in the cube. Uh, are we running zero tutors on purpose? We're actually not running zero tutors. We're running four tutors, and they are called Tezzeret the Seeker. I don't know if you've noticed. We, we actually just won with that Tezzeret. You can negative four Tezzeret and search for whatever you like, whatever your heart desires, which is literally probably 90% of the artifacts in this deck. All I want to do is have some fun. What up, Hoss Mania? And Trinket Mage is a tutor. That is correct. Those are all tutors. There are tutors for days. I like the instant one from Kaladesh too, but I mean, you can't run more than like four, right? Like you can't run six or eight. Like that's just too many. And I think Tezzeret, as we just witnessed, is just a better card in this deck. Like it's just a win condition too. The tutor's cool, but like, I don't know. Planeswalkers are OP. You ever played Planeswalker, man? Those are strong. Those are strong dudes. Strong dudes. Can uh, can someone can someone join the modern queue for us? I'd really appreciate it. That would be very nice of you. Also, if anyone in the chat wants to join the queue, that would be sweet. Like, this is a good way to play against people who want to play against us uh, in the stream. If anyone in chat wants to join in this modern queue, we can battle. Preferably with, like, semi-competitive decks. Don't bring your Relentless Rat deck, though, because, you know, nobody wins there. I mean, I would probably win, but, you know. You know, no offense to your Relentless Rats. I don't want to... I don't want bad badmouth your Relentless Rats. Oh, Bozosaurus. That's one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Bozosaurs. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good times, good times. I actually, I like these Terminal Lotus Bloom hands. These are gas. I would f how dare you? What did I do? Did I insult your Relentless Rat deck? I'm going to keep this hand. Tier 900 decks. Oh, well, at least they're, they're not over 9,000. That's good. Oh, another... Give me all those islands with this Vidalcan Shackles. Shackles! Shackles! Is it a Shackles? Shackles! That's, uh, that's a Family Guy meme, in case you guys didn't know. All I wanna do is ult this Tez. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Alright, so next turn we can go Shackles. Then the turn after that, again, we can go Jace into Activate Shackles, which is pretty sweet. And then we can steal this stupid uh, Wistful Selkie. Okay. So they're on... Looks like Mono Green Devotion. All I wanna do is ult this Tez. I got a feeling... Oh, that was a good draw. Field of Ruin. Shackles. Opal. Passums. Look how beautiful our cards are. Look at this. Foil from the Vault Jace. We got this Foil Dual Deck Tezzeret. We got these two Masterpieces. Unhinged Islands. It's just the best. Garrick Wildspeaker. Yep, that is a dude. Wistful Selkie? Yeah, that's what it's called. Wistful <laughs> Selfie? Yeah. Sometimes you get real nostalgic and you're like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a wistful selfie with you guys. Let's get down to business. To defeat. Bozo Sars. This Mulan song, man. 
island so we can steal this beast. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Unbelievably good at this game. Jasons. Let's look at your top card, just to put this guy to five. Um, put that on the bottom. Yeah, you don't get that. You do not get this. So we can't activate Mox Opal. We probably should have activated Mox Opal, but we're not going to need the mana. So I don't feel terrible about that. Is Garrick dead? Haven't seen him in years. Oh, you know, Garrick, he used to come around here all the time, and now you never see him anymore. Oh, Garrick, what happened to you? Can I have this beast? Thank you for the beast. I knew you meant lore-wise. I was just joking. We are just having a little... We are just having a little goof here. Sure. That's fine. We just get to replay Jace, right? That doesn't seem like it's that bad. Would they get Omnath? <whistles> That's a dude, all right. Do you make another beast? Untapping them lands. All right. Seems good. Seems good. We could Tezzeret get Ensnaring Bridge. That seems pretty good. I'm a fan of what's happening right now. I will not untap that. Um... Hmm. Well, we're going to play Ghost Quarter. One, two, three, four, five. Tezzeret or Jace? Tezzeret in the bridge doesn't stop these guys from attacking. We could play Jace, bounce something. Our Omnath gets pretty big. Yeah, being on fixed income is definitely not conducive to keeping up with uh, <laughs> Wizards constructed formats. That is definitely correct. This is why I love uh, Vintage Cube so much, just because it's like it feels like you're playing a constructed format, but you know, it's actually just draft. It's a self-contained constructed format. It's almost like a uh, a living card game of constructed formats. I have no idea. It's either just Jace or Tezzeret here. I don't think Tezzeret does a tremendous amount for us. Tanos with the 10 months in a row. Welcome back from Vegas, buddy. Hope you had a blast. Um, you're attacking. We know you have Omnath in hand. I'm just going to Jace here. And we're probably going to look at the top card of your deck again. Um... No, you can have a forest. That's probably the most innocuous card I can give you, so I can't imagine finding a better card for you to have. Alright. Something else. Prim Primal Command number dose? Oh, you're just gonna play Omnath and float too? Interesting. Three. He doesn't have haste, which is nice. 
Yeah, M19 definitely feels like sideboard masters. Yeah, I was like looking at more and more of these cards. I'm just like, this is all very interesting. That hoses two types of decks in one card. Incredible. Oh, look at this. It's a merfolk. It's a merfolk that deals with collector company. That's fantastic. All right, so we have primal command in hand. That's pretty oppressive. And this Garrick, we kind of need an answer for, but uh, we can tether it to get. Oh boy, this is rough. I think we're dead here. That's not terrible. I guess we can see what we... I guess we can actually bounce the beast. We're going to Tezzeret, and then we're going to steal this guy. We are going to get a... We can get a Pithy Needle named Garrick, but that doesn't actually solve the problem. We're going to get a Bridge, and then they're going to deal with Bridge with Primal Command. Which is... I mean, it's not ideal. They should lose their mana now. Yep. All right. So we got a one-one Omnath. And I think we like if they ultimate, they have to. They go Primal Command, Ultimate Garrick. I guess that's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That that just kills us actually. If they see it. Don't see it. Don't see it. Yep, yeah, I think they saw it. Why do they overpay? <laughs> it's very strange. Yeah, I think that's game. Oh. Oh my. Alright, this Primal Command shenanigans are getting a lot of hand. So now we can actually Tezzeret get a... A Pithing Needle named Garrick, and then... Well, they, they can attack with just this guy. I will block with your own Omnath, which is totally fine. Yep, I will block there too. Okay, all of this is pretty sad. So you kill Jace with these two. You kill Tez with this guy. So this is going at Jace. This is going at Jace. So you can block here and save Jace, which is actually pretty okay. Let's do that. We lose Tez and Jace goes to one, but we get to untap Shackles. Oh, I just clicked it. I'm low right now. Yeah, let's do that. I got real excited about drawing that, and then I forgot that we were always going to draw that all along. Draw the arms, put two from your hand. I think we have to do this, right? Pithing needle on top one time. Oh, that is a pithing needle on the tippity top! Um... Put these two back. So we're gonna go one, two, three, trinket mage. And now we have five mana, so we can go three. Oh, we're one shy. That's so sad. I really want to steal a guy here. I guess we could steal a guy and just shut down Garrick. But if we shut down Garrick, then they then they kill this, 
and still attack. So we have to actually play both things. Garrick Wildspeaker. And land. So they can get rid of uh, Ensnaring Bridge and attack Jace to death. Which is fine. Magic is a hard game. Do, 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 do. What are they hitting? What did they hit? Ensnaring bridge because it's gone? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. They ate their own eternal witness, and it's just, just dirty. We missed one land drop, it looks like. Actually, if they played first, we didn't miss any. Yeah, we haven't missed any land drops, so there's. I don't think there's any way to actually get the shackles. So Jace is going to die. Might as well kill something. Trinket Mage doesn't do any, any favors for us. Plus, next turn we can just steal Scavenging Ooze. Unfortunately, if we let them untap, Scavenging Ooze gets too big for its britches. So. Take it now. They got a Thrag Tusk this time. Okay. <laughs> Unless they got another Eternal Witness. I'm not sure if they still have an Eternal Witness left. It's getting confusing. This is another Promo Command? Are they just Promo Command us like six to every single turn? Eternal Witness, sure. They keep overpaying, which is very interesting. Getting back Omnath, okay. Mm, I see. That makes sense then. But I mean, it's still it's still weird to like pay three for Eternal Witness and add two more, and then pay Omnath and add two more. Like, it's just a very strange way of doing it. I think I care less about this and more about the Omnath. It's pretty good. It's uh, it's pretty good. Do they have another Primal Command? Does anybody even know? Oh god. Oh god. The problem with brainstorming here is that uh, if we hit something we can't play, it's not great for us. I might just want to bounce this guy. We can block here. We take one, two, three, four, five. Jace still dies. If they go bounce and snaring bridge. So I kind of just want to get the value out of it, but... Yeah, we can put we can play we can find one card in the top three that we can play. It's gonna be three Tezzerets or something. Yeah, that's just fine. We can go land, Jace, play island. Sure. Alright. Feels like we're still in good shape. I don't know. How many eternal witnesses is this? This is at least three eternal witnesses. Good lord. Did we have Spire up at the time? 
I don't know if we had Spire up for the Omnath. Yeah. All right. Wistful Selkie. Okay. So now we have Thrag Tusk and Wistful Selkie. Sounds good. We have another Jace on top, so that's pretty cool. It's a big scavenging ooze. These are good attacks, but I like that we like we get to trade two of their guys and then steal another one. That's pretty good. And then we know Jace is on top, so. I'm going to leave that up because... Oh, I guess the Snaring Bridge is on top, actually. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll just bridge here. I thought we had Opal, but I think they put back, um, I thought they put back, I'm pretty sure, I thought Spire was tapped, and I'm pretty sure I thought they put back the uh, Ensnaring Bridge, leaving us with only three artifacts, or two artifacts, rather. But I guess we would have had Mox Opal, too, so, yeah, that's probably correct, I probably just missed it. Sure. If I steal this while the trigger is on the stack, do I get to draw the card? <laughs> yep. Um, untap a land is not terrible, but it doesn't really do much for us. I guess we'll just try to keep you off of your one. Keep you off your devotion. I'm not aware of you having any more primal commands in hand. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that is unfortunate. But uh, we'll just put you back on the top. And we'll just play a land so that we can actually steal these scavenging ooze. Uh, which you probably can't because there's at least two creatures in the graveyard, so. Yep. Like, they're just playing boring stuff right now. Like, this isn't terribly oppressive, so I don't feel too bad about, like, Thrag Tusks and stuff. Okay, Carve and Carry added. Interesting. What's the what's the what's the devotion endgame? I forgot what the devotion endgame is. So you have a total of two mana, so you can make this guy seven seven. You can have this back. We'll just take the thrag tusk, I think. So let's look at your top card. Watch, it's gonna be the end game. Nope, Arbor Elf. No, you can have that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Play Worm Coil. Five Island seems good. Yeah, that's okay. Kerwit, one support your local Frank bug. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Kerwit, I wonder how much this donation goal you've actually uh, contributed to one dollar at a time. 
If we stole it there, they actually untap a land with Voyaging Seder, and then they eat Primal uh, Omnath instead, so it's a 7-7. Or a, it becomes a 6-6. So, unfortunately, that would not fly. They just respond and, and pump it again. All right. All right. So, there's a lot of things. Yeah, the goal now is to ultimate Jace, 100%. <laughs> because I don't know how we win otherwise. I guess we could Tezzeret, but... Uh, also, Thopter, Thopter Foundry would be pretty nice. Alright. But okay. Um, I mostly just want to keep you off things that... Yeah, no, you can have that. Alright, well... So you draw a forest here. And if you had anything more exciting than a forest, you probably would have played the last turn, I would assume. Sure. Oh, you do have something. Did you just have, you're just slow rolling a primal command? Yeah, of course. I don't think we're dead to this. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I mean, they only cast Primal Command like seven times this game, so. Why didn't they Crater Hoof here? My confusion level is extremely high right now. Uh, block you and block you, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that was great. That was great. We didn't get Crater Hoof. Sarah C. Al Alexa. Oh, I'm not gonna say. oh, my God. I almost read that out loud. Oh, my God. That would have been terrible. Because I, I imagine there's some way that Amazon can make that happen. Uh, they have four mana right here. They could have tapped this for five, untapped a land for six, Arbrell for, for seven. That's correct. You're right, and I'm not smart. I mean, we just get to play the ensnaring bridge again, right? Huh. Well. I don't know how seven mana versus eight mana works. I just play this game for a living. I'm probably gonna do this now because I feel like we might want to find more things that are oh this is perfect okay thank goodness one two we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven mana so we have five six seven eight and then we can still steal something one two three four five this guy so we can actually get double ensnaring bridge right now and that's probably good enough uh, for at least an annoying lockdown one. Oh, that'll do it. The game has ended. All right. Woo, boy, that was a game. Yeah, so we're definitely bringing in Surgical Extraction at now because, boy, do I not want to deal with your recurring primal commands. Uh, Witch Bane Orb is probably not great here. I feel like Lodestone Golem might be a little slow, but I'm not sure. One Bok Bok Buck made you... Oh, my God. I don't like Chalice in this matchup necessarily because their, their threats are really varied between one, two, and three mana. Same thing with Engineer Explosives. I'm going to bring in three Surgicals. And I, I almost like Spellsky to redirect. A Lotus for 6000 on Amazon. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, Cyclonic Rift actually seems like it could be pretty reasonable here. You know what, guys? I'm okay with prank donations. If that's something you guys want to do. I feel like creeping corrosion is coming in here, which is pretty scary. I don't actually have, I don't I don't think we actually have a way to deal with that. I 
I don't think that targets. So, not creeping corrosion, but uh, fracturing gust. I'm pretty sure that's destroy all artifacts. Yeah, okay, so that's not targeted. Joke's on you. Take my money. Done. Done and done, my friend. Consider that money good as taken. Actually, maybe it's one relic, two surgicals. I like that better because you can actually search for... I think four I think four surgical extractions is a little bit excessive. Oh, uh, this hand is not good. I guess we can play one of our cards and then hope to seal a one drop. It doesn't seem great. I will mulligan. Yep, that seems worse. Um, okay, I don't think we can go to four here. I also don't think we can cast that, unfortunately. Well, nothing yet. But excuse me, this is not Vintage Cube. Vintage Cube. That's true. That is true. All right. Well, this is rough. How do they not have a play before turn three? Isn't their entire deck plays before turn three? Is their first play Garrick? Interesting. I'm confused. Hey, look at that. Never didn't have a third land on turn four. Oh, well, I'm definitely searching. I will get a... I almost feel like with Tezzeret you want Darksteel Citadels in this deck somewhere, like maybe one or two. Um, at least one, I think. Yeah, they got four Crater Hoofs and two Tezzerets and a Primal Command. That's their hand. Two Garricks and a Primal Command. They don't have Tezzerets in their deck. Now they're going to untap two. Oh, they're going to Wistful Selkie. I see. How wistful. How wistful. Now they can add six mana. That's pretty good. This is where they go Primeval Titan. Untap two. Use that same two to activate this for five. Add this for six. Primeval Titan. Have you ever asked yourself why we aren't playing this awesome Stompy Green deck? They've got Crater Hoof. We've got well, that's Crate Hoof actually. That's the uh, that's the the cute variation of it. Oh, look at their little Crate Hoofs. I've actually played multiple variations of uh, of okay, yeah. If you're just gonna start doing that, like we're not even gonna play this game anymore. You got it. You got it. Hi yeah yeah. Crady Hoof, son of Crater, son or, oh, son or Crater Hoof. <laughs> Sarah, your spelling game is not on point today, buddy. Uh, I'm just going to smell like this. I think it's actually fine, but mulliganing to infinite last game. I'll keep this hand. Now we can search for a relic too, which is nice. And I think Garrick is one of the only cards we actually care about with Pithing Needle, so we'll just Pithing Needle you. I'm going to name Garuk. You guys say Garuk or Garrick? 
I say Garrick, and then I say Garuk comedically. I have a flu cold thing, and it's hard to make my thumbs. My thumbs work. <laughs> that was the perfect. That was just perfect. Oh, man. Good times. Ghost Cody. See, if this is a Dark Steel Citadel instead, we could actually play Mox Opal and Trinket Mage this turn. Which is very, very good. I just don't think you need four, two Field of Ruin and two Ghost Quarter. I think you want to have some number of Dark Steel Citadel just because it's very good. You can also search for it with Tezzeret, which is very cool. I think the number of synergies, uh, even if some are, are less powerful, is enough to to include it. Oh, Shackies. Sh -sh -sh Shackies. We can actually play this next turn and also activate with Mox. And that way they don't get to really play around it, which is pretty cool. I think we just get Relic here. Yeah, it seems good. It's pronounced GIF. GIF is a peanut butter. Good times, good times. Shackles, moxels, steal your guy. I was tempted to attack here. I think your guy is better than our guy, so I want to attack you. Man, get him, Trinket Mage. Tell him, Steve, Dave. What do you think of the Vanilla 1010 for GGGGG? Uh, I think it's pretty sweet. I like big, dumb monsters that aren't extremely oppressive. Like, I mean, it still dies to all, all the removal, but, like, you have to have that removal, you know what I mean? Oh, I was like, wow, are they not going to use Garrick? But then I was like, oh, wait... I have a pithing needle. Uh, nope. Not gonna do that. Okay, well, that's sad. Sad the times. What up, so salty? Can you Bruce BDH and go be a guest on game nights? Uh, I actually... I'm okay with that. I'm just going to attack this Garrick, actually. Gar actually. We probably should be playing Ghost Quarter and killing our Nykthos. One, two, three, four, five. Here comes Crater Hoof. Yeah, I feel like not killing Dynectos here is a pretty brutal. I guess they could still cast that anyway, so I don't feel terrible about it, but... Still not ideal. Are you going to kill my Pithing Needle? That's so sad. You got a friend in me. Yeah, this is a, this is a misplay. We should have Ghost Quartered. I don't have any respect for Nyxos is really my problem. Like, if they have Crater Hope, we're just dead, and I should have just... It's my own fault. I have no one to blame but myself here. Twelve. So they go Omnath, Crater Hope. They have two cards. What are the odds? God, it's a thousand percent, isn't it? 
You got a friend in me. Thoughts on baseball? I don't really care about sports. Huh. Uh, so we can actually crack this and counter your your spell? That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. So now you don't get to search. So no crater hoof for you. Unless it's in your hand. And I'll let you target that. And then we'll get rid of it. This turn worked out very, very well for us, despite our... Hey, make sure we hit the one in the graveyard. Boop. Boop. How many Crater Hoofs do you have in the deck? Just one Crater Hoof in the deck. That's great to know. Also, your Elvish Visionaries don't match, and you should feel terrible about your life choices. One Choke. Okay. Two Beasts Within. Two, two more Aesthetic Slimes. All right. Seems good. You got it. Get nothing. You get nothing. This is great because we can just block and then steal something else. So you're actually giving me a way to uh, get rid of one of your creatures. And now I can untap and steal a different one. Oh, Field of Ruin's even better because we don't get to lose our land. That's fantastic. Islands for days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with this guy. So if you just top deck a crater hoof, we can't really do anything about it, I guess. One, two, three, four. Archive. Tap two shackles. Steal this guy, I guess. Matching Elvish Visionaries are I on so why why am I why am I being punished for their mismatching Elvish Visionaries? That doesn't seem fair. Uh, not gonna untap. We can just keep attacking with this guy. Let's draw two cards. How does that sound? <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, let's play a land. One, two, three, four, five. We can tap two, play Mindstone, which turns on Mox Opal. Then we have five, and we can play Tezzeret. And then Tezzeret for Ensnaring Bridge. Or we can just plus Tezzeret, untap two artifacts. Which also seems pretty good, because we have two blockers here, so Tezzeret would take two. And I don't think searching for anything really does much here. I guess Ensnaring Bridge does kill Tezzeret, right? So we have we Ensnaring Bridge, we can't play a land, we play a land this turn. Yeah, okay, so... If we go ahead and Snaring Bridge, Tezzer goes to one. Actually, they can only attack with two guys. So, yeah, we'll just get in Snaring Bridge. Yeah, that seems good. I'm a fan. All right, well, we're, we're still alive. All right, so you hit a land. Crater Hoof is now dead, and you have one card in hand and no Primal Commands. Oh, we got a good game. Oh, 2 0 with this sweet list. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm definitely getting rid of two surgicals because I think there's just too many. Like, relic and surgicals are very, very similar. And um, cutting one of the ghost quarters, I think Field of Ruin is fine. And we're going to add one Dark Steel Citadel. Just as a one of is fine. I don't think you need more than one. I mean, it lets you, it lets you turn on your Mox Opals, it lets you. Uh, you can search for it with Tezzeret. It turns into a 5-5 five, five with Tezzeret. It has a lot. You can sacrifice it to Thopter Founder if you really need to. Like, it does a lot of things in this deck, so. Uh, as far as the sideboard goes, I could see, like, throwing a Padim in this list. 
It gives Hexproof. Is there anything that gives your artifacts indestructible? I don't actually like the Thorn of Amethyst, Amethyst in the sideboard either. I just never want to bring them in because most of your cards in your deck are non-creature spells. So unlike something like Lodestone Golem, this actually punishes you. Yeah, we're not gonna add. We're not gonna go outside our colors here. I feel like there's Dark Steel Forge is like a million mana, right? God, you guys, these puns are terrible. Just terrible. I love you guys, but what you're doing is not good. All right, I'm going to take the thorn. I don't, like, I don't like the thorn. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just don't like it. Yeah, I think the Damping Sphere, Damping Sphere is actually significantly better, and it does uh, a very similar thing to Thorn, actually. I can also see playing another one. Yeah, I think Three Thorns is actually pretty good. Or Three Damping Spheres is actually pretty good. It's just very, very good against certain matchups. Um, and I, I would actually add another Graph Digger's Cage, I think. Graph Digger's Cage doesn't stop... Um, what do you call it? It doesn't stop Collected Company, right? We need one more sideboard card. I'm trying to think of what it could be. How many chalices do we have? Three? Three chalices in the main deck? I'm surprised this deck is actually doing as well as it's doing. Welding Jar is an interesting choice. Actually, I don't hate Welding Jar. I feel like... Dankus, I feel like you've been... Uh, <laughs> I feel like you have the advantage because it's your deck, so you actually know a lot of the cards that you've been trying more so than me. Um, either way... Still think that's a good suggestion, and uh, we'll see if that works. Like, because I say, I think Thorn is a card I'm never going to play. Um, is Engineer Explosives good against humans, though? Like, don't they have a lot of one drops, two drops, and three drops? I mean, I, I feel like I'd just rather have another ensnaring bridge for that situation. Cage stops collected company. Is that true? Interesting. That's pretty good. That might actually make me want to put another uh, Graph Digger's Cage in the deck. I'll take out the random welding jar. Yeah, I like that better. Alright. Let's try again. In snoring bridge. I don't even snore. Joke's on you. Yeah, you guys are you guys are on your own for this one. I can't keep reading these chats. You guys are ridiculous. You got a friend in me. Let's get that Randy Newman up in here.
Oh, right. Any day now, modern players. Come on. Come on, modern players. Don't be like this. We did it. Gibro deal. I will play first. Be something good. Give me all the lotuses. Dang it. No lotuses? No ramps? Nothing? This hand is not good. This hand is not bad. It's actually pretty okay, I think. We could also top deck a Mox Opal into a Thopter Foundry. That's pretty good. So I got off at 11.30 instead of 5. That's actually pretty convenient. I'll keep this hand. Lotus Bloom? No, we don't need you at this point. Fashion relate to the party. I'm pleased with the uh, the pun quantity. I'm not sure if I'm pleased with the pun quality. I have high standards when it comes to puns. I have high pun standards. Your face is ridiculous. Huge fan. That's good. I like it. I rank love your articles. This is where they crush me. You got a friend in me. I wish I could. I wish I could explain how these songs get stuck in my head. I really do because I feel like I owe that. I owe that much to you guys, especially because I'm mildly contributing to uh, to getting this stuck in your head. But you know, that's just uh, that's just how you do. Any suggestion as to what mono black aggro has against ensnaring bridge? Um, you could have like a black spell that lets opponent draw cards. You could like lose uh, sign and blood them, then they take two and they can't attack. So, or then you can attack. You know, you know what I'm saying. You get it. Sarah, just terrible. Are you going to counter this? Wow. 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 Amazing. Oh, look at these land drops they're missing. Counter this guy too. Put them all in the trash can. Oh, it just comes right on back. He didn't even leave. Huh. Well. Intriguing. Alright, we'll play this guy. It's a Randy Newman is a brain parasite. Wow, that is that sounds harsher than I think it is. Randy Newman, you brain parasite. Oh, it's okay. You're a pleasant brain parasite. Well, thank you. I feel like this deck probably can't win through double lodestone golem, but that's just me. It's an aggressive attack. Cause they literally can't cast a spell now unless it's like a Taxium probe for two. You got a friend in me. This is a big golem. Big golem coming through. No beats, what are you doing, man? What is even happening right now? Jesus. <laughs> what just happened? Did they pay three mana to kill to hit this guy? Did they target the wrong one? Intriguing. 
that does not seem like the thing you want to do there. I'm also going to put this on t on one. Uh, on one. Oh, 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 the right stuff. There are three, so both these guys are lethal. All their spells cost at least two more. Oh, God. Oh, Drake's for days. That's actually pretty good. Because they can actually attack us. Oh, no attacks. Okay. Well. That was a pretty good draw. I guess we just keep on getting in there, right? Keep on keeping on. Kind of have to, right? We could attack with one and then trade. And then they actually can't attack with this guy because this guy is huge. And they can't play one mana spells. And that still kind of puts them off a little bit. And it gives us a way to deal with that Enigma Drake somehow, like with the Jace or with the Vidak and Shackles. So... My god. Oh, this chat is such gas. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Yeah, modern's a crazy place to be, man. Oh my god. What is happening? Do you have another one? Another Drake? Right, that's pretty good. I guess we'll attack first. I really can't imagine you have a way to deal with this guy, but... Snapcaster. Is this just chump block? You can't lightning bolt. You can't serum visions. You can't mana leak. You can't remand. Yeah, that lightning bolt's not going to work the way you think it works. Which is great. Great! So they have to chump here. If they have a second snapcaster, then we die. Which is unfortunate. I don't like dying. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you can do it, actually, and that's great, because it it shrinks your Enigma Drake, which is very, very okay with me. Wizard's Lightning! <sighs> yep, that'll do it. All right. If we played this first, they just respond with Wizard's Lightning. It's like... They just go Snapcaster, Wizard's Lightning. And then there's still nothing we can do. So there's n really no way to get around that. I'm going to bring in Spell Skites. Pithing Needle seems pretty blank. So does Phyrexian Revoker. Chalices are good. Witchbane Orb seems good. A little expensive, but good nonetheless. Relic can come in. Surgicals can come in. Engineered Explosives. Probably not where we want to be. And what else are we taking out here? Staring Bridge actually doesn't seem terrible. The old Wizard Lizard deck. It's a classic. You guys probably have heard of it. Two mana. I'll take out one Tez. Yeah, 
All right, that seems fine. Yes, keep this hand every single day. This hand's amazing. I fear that if you play a blizzard, it would kill all your wizard lizards. So, you know, probably not. We're definitely going to turn one. Turn two Chalice of the Void here. I don't know why I ran out of Swamp. It's just literally an automatic click, so... I mean, it's pretty sad if we hit Relic or Surgical, but I think it's a risk worth taking. Yep, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Hmm. It's gotta be just bridge here, right? And then next turn we can go Golem Spellskite. It doesn't do anything now, but it's 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 better mana usage than Spellskite is, so. You got it. Remanding this is pretty sad if they want to do that. That's brutal. Makes me want to cry. Yep. Incoming tears. Spell pierce. I mean, I'll pay for it at this point. Yes. And if you want to counter it with something else as well, that's fine. I mean, that's just... Sure. Okay, so two for one. Seems good, I guess. Vapor snag. Uh, but now you can't attack though because oh yeah you can. That's actually making my hand worse. Never mind. I, I thought about it in reverse. Yep. They have one card in hand. And I like our odds. The right stuff. Uh, 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 uh. Well, now he's got new kids on the block stuck in his head. You got it. You're a gizzard, Barry. You're a lizard, Waddy. Look at all these spells you're drawing. Good lord. Oh, I like that no attack there. That's nice. I'm a fan of that. Gonna teach your thing a lesson. And by thing, I mean your graveyard. Oh, Lodum's McStonum's. I 
I will redirect whatever you do to spell scud at this point. So let's be clear about that. This is my vapor snag. Smash to smithereens. The ensnaring bridge. I don't think I want you to do that. But it's also preventing this guy from attacking. I think it's actually fine because we actually have... Um, like, it lets our lodestone golem attack. So... Plus, they might have lightning bolt in hand, so that they actually like hope we want to hope we redirect, and then they lightning bolt here. We can also pop like, and if they're trying to get get it so that their enigma drakes can attack, like we can just relic and get rid of their entire graveyard. Sweet O four. We also get to play Sword of the Meek, which is pretty good on the. On the golly. So if our last card is Lightning Bolt, we just eat it with Spell Skite. Uh, Sword of the Meek. Golem. Suspend. That's a six five, good buddy. Let's get rid of one of your graveyard parts. One of my graveyard parts. Smash to Smithereens is a very good sideboard card. However, they've played two of them and we're still ahead here, so I feel like that's a good sign, right? No attacks again. I like it. I like no attacks. That's my favorite kind of attacks. The lack thereof. Hmm. I wonder if we play Chalice on something. Maybe, maybe two? Maybe just one again. I think one seems fine. It shuts off enough of their cards. Serum Visions, Opt, Lightning Bolt, Counterspell, Mana Leak. I mean, they have one card in hand, so the odds of this affecting future cards is pretty low. I think I'd rather keep up Spell Skype Mana to Redirect and Relic Mana. So, yeah, that's fine. There's just no benefit to it at this point. I see. I don't see why they would ever unban Seething Song. I cannot see a, a beneficial reason for that. It's not a card that's banned that people are like clamoring to play for because it unlocks all these these niche decks that that don't that can't get played otherwise like bitter blossom right like bitter blossom's a card like that because you can just play it it's just a cool very very unique card that's kind of a centerpiece for like a token deck or like a, a fairy deck right so it's very versatile to play i'm going to actually block here if if you like when it use if like when if you have lightning bolt in hand like sure So wizard's lighting on the spell skite. Okay, deal. I mean, they're at eight. I feel like that's pretty good for us. Doctor Foundry, surgical extraction. We're at a point where like I don't feel like we can actually lose this game, but 
I felt kind of like that last game too, so. All right, they're at two, so two cards in hand. We got their graveyard on lockdown. Soul Scar Mage, number dose. And Nigma Drake, Storm Chaser Mage, okay. All right, all right. Well, this is how it starts. I think we're at a point where we just crack the relic. We kind of want to draw things, so. I guess we take one here. We'll get rid of this for an island. It thins our deck a little bit more, so that's nice. And they can't actually cast anything for one mana when we have Lodestone Golem out, so the mana actually is kind of irrelevant here. Oh, I didn't know we got to cast this this turn. Can we draw a Planeswalker? It's kind of like a Planeswalker, I guess. We can engineer explosives for one here, which is kind of cool. I think we might have taken that out, though. Maybe yeah, we can get a Dark Steel Citadel. We can also get a Chalice and play Chalice for two. Well, they have to block. Everything is lethal, so I think we just play Chalice for two here. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think they have anything that they can actually win this game with. Wizard's Lightning for three is something we can't really play around. I guess we'll just do it for one again. Lightning Bolt is a card I'm tempted to play around. Because at least then they can go Lightning Bolt our face, puts us to four. They attack for two, puts us to two, and. Uh, this guy we have to block, but then that's their last card, so... Or on the other hand, both of our creatures are lethal right now, so... Man, these, these dead draws here. We could have actually moved the equipment over, but... I think we're just going to eat this guy. I mean, if they have Storm Chaser Mage, other guy in hand, other, like, two mana, two mana, three mana spell, right? I guess Storm Chaser costs three, so they, it literally has to be Lightning Bolt and Chalice counters that, so I don't think that's possible either. Man, this is uh, it's emotionally draining. Like, I feel like the most they can do here is five. I would love to draw a card like Batter Skull or Worm Coil Engine, but uh, it's not to be. All right, we win that game. Shackles would have been great there. All right, so. I don't think Witchbane Orb does anything. I still don't think explosives or evokers do anything um sphere doesn't do anything rift doesn't do anything surgical is fine pithing guild is doing anything. graph digger's cage doesn't do anything all right so i think our boarding is fine right now um would like to hit a batter skull or a warm coil engine at some point and be able to cast them oh scarab god and fairy seems pretty op <laughs> Beginning of turn, Mistbind click you. Um, 
I actually kind of like this hand because we can go turn two stone into turn three shackles. Or turn three dream engine to turn four shackles and activate, which is nice. We can also top tick a Lotus Bloom. Ready? You guys ready for that? That was not it. I got your hopes up for nothing and I apologize. Lay it down by the fire. Wow, that's aggressive. I mean, next thing they could go Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt, attack for two. It puts us to ten. It's probably just better to get the Mind Stone out here. Well, yeah, and we can play the Relic off the Mind Stone. So they're going to Spell Pierce this. That's super interesting. Spell Pierce this. I mean, if they're Spell Piercing these things, then they're not Spell Piercing the other things in our hand, which are just better. Yep. Spell Pierce it. I dare you. Sure. I will take one damage. I like one damage here. I imagine Enigma Drake is coming down. Look at all these islands, man. Islands for days. They didn't counter this guy. Opal? Opal? Chalice? Let's take a chalice. Also, being able to Scarab God your Spell Stutter Sprite seems pretty epic. No attack. I imagine this is getting countered, which is just fine, because... Maybe not. Spell Pierce is dead. Mana Leak is... Mana Leak is still an option here because you... If you wouldn't have Mana Leaked this because you could have... Intriguing. I think I actually like one more Relic in the deck. Yeah, they definitely have Smash to Smithereens. Because they never don't have Smash to Smithereens. A Braid. That's actually so much better. <laughs> so much better for us. We don't take three. That's great news. And they killed the Chalice over the Shackles. That's interesting. I guess they kill both. Probably taking two here. I do feel like we're safer to play Lodestone Golem now. So that's good. I kind of want to attack here. If they're able to kill Lodestone Golem, this is going to be a 2 3, so we don't really want to attack with this guy anyway. Seville Pippin, thank you so much for four months in a row. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. If they have, like, a Braid Vapor Snag. Yeah, see, again, like, we're not going to want to block in that situation. God, this is so annoying. We're probably going to crack this Mind Stone. The problem is if they do have Mana Leak, then we can't play around that next turn. But I do want more options. Tezzeret's pretty good as far as options go. So is Ensnaring Bridge. So we can go 6 mana, get a thing. What can we get with Tezzeret here? I 
I always forget. I kind of like Tezzer at Witchbane Orb. Just getting a Lotus Bloom? Lotus, getting a Lotus Bloom seems great, actually. Get Lotus Bloom, play a Lodestone Golem. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And next time we can get like Witchbane Orb or something. That seems great. I would love to put Tezzera to five or six because then we can get a Batter Skull. Being able to search for Witchbane Orb and then play Ensnaring Bridge and Swamp seems pretty good. Five mana, essentially three mana if they're playing two spells. Yeah, that's pretty obnoxious. Lightning Bolt hitting Lodestone Golem, I would imagine. Oh, target my face. That's aggressive. We are at three. Boy. We have a lot of lands. Seven mana. Founders? What is that? What are you saying right now? Oh, Foundry. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's not terrible. We are attacking here, though. I wish we had one more land, though. Let me. Oh, we can actually play both and then activate the Foundry. That's actually pretty good. They also have one card in hand. And if, they, if Tezzeret survives, we can actually make uh Yeah, this is actually pretty good. So the guys can't attack. If Tezzeret survives, if they go to kill and snaring bridge, we can just make a thing. Um, which would counter like a smash to smithereens. Yeah, Thopter Foundry is great. Sometimes you forget, like, if you don't, if you're not going for the combo, that Thopter Foundry is still just a card that gains you a life and makes a 1 1. Again, though, it'd be super nice if we had a Dark Steel Citadel here. I think we might want more, but you don't want to cut the mana, the colors too much either, because you definitely want islands for Vendak and Shackles. You like the Swamp in case you get Path that are Ghost Quartered. And obviously, Spire of Industry does the same things. It produces both blue and black, which is reasonable. But. Yeah, Dark Steel Citadel just has a super good amount, a high amount of synergy with this deck, so I am pretty keen on it. I mean, if we get to untap with Opter Foundry and, and Tezzeret, I'm pretty sure we win the game. Do you think of a five mana vanilla creature with one thousand power, one thousand times so we play well in standard? Yeah, definitely. Well, because you got to look at the the ten ten is playable in standard, and 
Um, you know, a thousand, a thousand is just you know one hit, and plus you can fling it. Like the combo potential gets gets real high. Hmm. All right, we're gonna search for two. And get sword. Sack this. All right, so I think this is the end. All right. We almost want to play this in snaring bridge number two. One, two, three, and then we we can we'll be at seven life essentially. So if they even if they have two burn spells, we we'd still be fine. But I don't actually think we need to right now. We can steal a guy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep up the two extra the three extra mana to make three extra guys. What about a one thousand slash one? I mean. I think if any creature has 1,000 power, if it costs less than 10 mana, I think you're probably going to find a way to play it. I feel like this game is over, right? They have one card. So we go over here and hit yes. They also have like seven minutes less than us. This is interesting that they're making us go through this. All right, so we have six power on board and floats. I'll play this guy first in case you have a burn spell and maybe it resolves before we get to attack. Oh, actually, we just we gave them an extra turn, but it, it's it's pretty much academic, I think, at this point. Yeah, I forgot we needed the spell sky to get in there with this other 2-3, so that was actually bad, but I don't think it matters. Like, we're at 10, they're at 2. We have bridge shackles, the, th the thopter combo, so... Oh, well. Sometimes your brain moves faster than your... Your fingers move faster than your brain. I always yield to these guys. You don't think that vanilla 1010 for five is gonna be played? It's just a 1010. It's a 1010. That's so big. Like it ha you it's a card you have to have an answer for. For a very reasonable mana cost. I'm not actually going to make more because I just don't have to. Something's happening. Echoing truth. Uh, choose this. Redirect to Spell Skeetery now. Good games. Don't you be trying to echo in truth, my dudes. 10 10 for 5 compares to Grunt. Well, Grunt costs 9 mana. Like, it's a completely different card. Even at its cheapest, Grunt still costs 1 extra mana, and it's a 6 6, not a 10 10. 3 0 so far. This deck is performing pretty well so far. I like one more Relic. I like Relic because you can search it out, and it draws you a card. I don't know. I think it's actually fine like this, though. I don't know. This deck seems fine. I'm sad we had Spellskite. That Echoing Truth would have been sweet. Wow. I'm really sad we were able to win that game because I wish our opponent was able to blow us out by bouncing 20 tokens. I will play first. Oh, we're keeping this hand for sure. Is 
Sorry, I support sweet plays regardless of who has them. I, I can appreciate that. That's fair. Look at all my lotuses, boy. My first thought was to put a modern stompy because it's too big for to push bolt and dismember, but then I remember I don't usually get to five lands. You don't have to get to five lands, you just have to get to five uh five mana. Which is a thing. Alright, sweet Tron. I'm actually excited about playing Tron right now because it gives us a chance to use like damping spheres and things like that. And we'll see if we can outrace them. If they go power plant or tower, it's gonna be difficult though. All right, that's good times. How dare you, how dare you resurrect that Tron quote, you monster. Why are you the way that you are? Um, what did you get? Power plant, pea plant? A pea plant. We're just gonna put this on one because it's actually pretty good against you. It shuts off ancient stirrings. Uh, it shuts off future expedition maps and it shuts off relics if you run relics in the main deck oh and all your chromatic stars and chromatic spheres it's actually pretty good that's cute although that is a little scary one two three four six we have eight mana so we can go golem this guy and have no way to actually stop anything. Let's play you, see what we can get. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. We have Chalice, it's not that good. Oh no, we've made a terrible mistake. So we have four or five, we'll have six mana, we're one shy. Dang it. We have Pithing Needle, we also have Chalice on one, so it's really bad. I mean, we can just hope they don't hit land drops. All right, another mine is fine. Mine is fine. Well. You like this post-combat equip? No, I don't have land. Oh, God. And that's the end, ladies and gentlemen. Hoisted by our own petard. Alright, it's not bad. So long, everybody! Opal, Bloom, Engineer Explosive, Citadel, Chalice again. Probably just Chalice again. And we're having a good time. Everybody's having fun. All right. Okay. This is where you want to bring Crucible in. Shackles can come out for obvious reasons. Pithing Needle seems great here. Uh, Damping Sphere is choice. Revoker is very good. And Engineer Explosives is bad. Witchbane Orb is not great. 
Alright, everything else seems great. Yeah, seems fine. Alright. Spell Scout is amazing? Why is Spell Scout amazing? How much buy vision do you just have to donate to the Tron League? Um, I don't... F actually, Extraction is probably pretty good. I mean, just because it hits their Tron lands. But... There's only so much you can do, you know? You know what I mean? This hand doesn't have anything. But we do get to go turn two Mind Stone into turn three. Uh, whatever we get with Trinket Mage, whether it's Pity Needle or... Can't chalice. They do go to five. That's pretty good. Maybe they go to four. Maybe they go to two. No, you want to do that? Okay. I mean, if they have an Ugin on board, and, and our our answer is to uh, yeah, this is gonna be rough. If they have an Ugin on board and, and our answer is to redirect their lightning bolt to spell skite, that is not where we want to be. Also, if they have if they have Karn and, and we have spell skite out, they're probably not going to uh, redirect to. They're probably not going to exile a permanent because we're just going to redirect. This is amazing. There's a lot of things happening. We're going to get Pithy Needle now and name Expedition Map. And hope that helps. All right, no Tron land. That's good. And I don't think you have any in hand because you would have played it over a forest, presumably. That's also pretty good. But we can play this first. We also have Field of Ruin. We have a lot of things right now. I like shutting down the card you have on board first, though. That's pretty good. Expedition map. All right. I actually felt bad when they went, like, map, star, ancient stirrings. I was like, there's no way you don't have it. But then they only have four cards in hand, so. That is obnoxious. Can we get the other Pithy Needle? And just name Oblivion Stone? That's probably what they were going to do. Actually, realistically, we can do that next turn. We can play Gaul now because then Tezzeret's going to cost more, so we can't reliably do that next turn. I was like, why are there still so many? Oh, because all of these have like stone in their name. That's pretty good. Yeah, they can't have that many more basics left. I'm pretty sure Field of Ruin is going to be a strip mine at some point. Actually, next time we can probably go Field of Ruin and Damping Sphere, and then I'm pretty sure that just puts the kibosh on their whole plans. Oh, also another forest? They've just hit double forest off double ancient stirrings? What is even happening? It's all very interesting. Quad forests. Do you search for anything? Just untap things. Actually, what we can do is search for Thopter Foundry, and then next time we have Sword and play for it. It seems good. Five basics. Creeping Corrosion. I 
I have no idea what's going on right now. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll call it a day here, I think. Natural nature's nature's claim. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wow, we lose a lot of things to that Oblivion Stone. Letting us untap seems bad. Jace? Island. That's pretty insane. <laughs> That's almost comically insane. All right. I mean, if they don't, if like, if if they let us activate Tezzeret, I'm sure there's no way they don't crack in response. They just wasted the mana instead of just playing O Stone. That's interesting. Oh, whoops. Um, sure. I played Spire in case they have uh, enters this land that they want to play, and then we can. Scrying seems good. This match did not go how I was expecting it to go. Okay, so they're out of forests. That's good to know. Uh, we did side in Crucible of Worlds, yes. But we can't can't get it with Trinket Mage. Ironically, we can get the other Pithing Needle, right? No, both are on board and both are in the graveyard now, so that's pretty frustrating. So I actually don't have any incentive to play Trinket Mage here. That's actually pretty great. I'm a fan. I wonder if they just crack the uh, the Oblivion Stone here. Oh, they do. Aggressive. I guess we both get three threes, except I get double the three threes.
What are we getting here? Mox Opal, don't care. Lotus Lotus, don't care. Probably Chalice on one again. Shuts off a lot of their things. All right, let's see if you got another Oblivion Stone. Thrag test number two, sure. That's a good one. Seven, eight, nine. We can actually play Batter Skull, equip it to like Worm. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. This would be a seven, seven, so we could actually kill both. Or we could put it on here, actually. Make it a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's do that. We go trade, trade, take 6. And then we gain 9. This is the first time we've drawn Batter Skull. Ugh. I feel like you just block, block, right? Yeah. That seems that seems correct. Equipping a lifelink worm doesn't make sense because this already gains lifelink, so we can just double up on our lifelink. <laughs> yep. Well, we have to remember to keep up the three mana for the batter skull because. Boy, do I not feel like having my batter skull destroyed to that. Also, drawing two cards here is pretty nice. So, Yep. In case we hit Academy Ruins, I want to do it now. Wow! We're just going to pass with Tezzeret Jace in hand. <laughs> These matches have been very long. This game is not... This this deck is not super... Uh... Oh, they can still pop the thing, which is really obnoxious. See if you want to crack it now. You do. So we have six mana, even if we, uh, we can't do two things. Um, I'm pretty sure we just Jace here and Fate Seal you. Or we can actually Tezzeret, try to find something that costs two or less and put it into play. And then we can try to equip a Batter Skull to it next turn. I don't know if that's going to work. Mox Opal is actually... <gasps> Crucible of Worlds. It's got to be Crucible here, right? All right. No Tron land off the top that lets you cast Ulamog. I hate this deck so much, dude. Actually, I mean, it's not impossible, right? They kill two things. We can actually go Jace Crucible, Field of Ruin. One, two, three. And, and then we can actually bounce the Wulamog, which is reasonable. Unless they play Ugin. They're playing Ugin. We're at 33. I guess that's not terrible. I don't know. I don't even know anymore, man. Negative 4 to get rid of Tez. You have to negative 4 here, right? Okay. Okay, we're not dead. We're actually pretty good. Might as well suspend you. Crucible. Field of Ruin. Ruin. 
what do we get rid of? What do we what do you have in the graveyard? A mine? So your odds of hitting mines are lower. <laughs> Expedition map on the bottom. Yes. So that means you have one, two, you have one expedition map left in your deck. That's hilarious. Next card would have an expedition map. Good times, good times. Like, I feel like we have no choice but to shuffle our library and then draw again. We also have seven mana here. Eight mana, so we could actually play batter skull keep up three they're just gonna go lightning bolt jace and then probably exile the germ i think that's fine yeah the opal's not online that's correct that's a very good assessment I like when you guys say things randomly. That's cool. X is four. So we could sort of Jace and Trinket Mage and the Germ token. Sure. You can have this guy. You got it. Just Ugin number two. Walking Blista for four. Sure. I feel like this deck actually wants one Immortal Sun, but then we have our own Planeswalker, so it's super awkward. God, do we have a way to search for things? Six, seven, eight. God, why are all the Pithing Needles in the friggin' graveyard? The problem is both of these can pick off Phyrexian Negator, Phyrexian Revoker, so even if we play Revoker, it's just not great. And, like, we could...
If we get Revoker and we name Ugin, then they exile it with Karn. If we name Karn, they exile, they just kill it with Ugin. I don't see Revoker doing much work here. Yeah, we need the Academy runs. You're not wrong, but unfortunately... If we can get engineered explosives for for eight mana, I think it's probably the correct play, but... Yeah, this is just brutal. This deck is not fun. <laughs> actually, they have walking ballistas, so Revoker actually doesn't prevent them from doing anything. Neither does Bridge, really. Yeah, this is pretty much... We're pretty much done. Like, it doesn't... They have Walking Ballista on board, so... Yeah, this is pretty stupid. Alright, well... We had a good run. JK. It was not... Witch Pain doesn't do anything. They just exile it with Karn and then they shoot us. I mean... Oh. Alright. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I would have probably shot it with one counter on Walking Ballista and then exiled a Planeswalker with Karn. But I guess it's kind of accomplishing the same thing. But then you get to attack my face. So... It seems worse. We had a good board, though. We had a good board last turn. Hey, I have that Tron, that powerful Tron sideboard card. I, they need to ban, ban Oblivion Stone in Modern. This card is just... This is the only card we lost to. Both games. Every, all three games. However many games we play, that's, that's the card we lost to. I miss it too. Like Tron, the Tron deck should be able to make a million mana and do degenerate things, or it should be able to deal with every other deck in one card. I don't think it should be able to do both. Oblivion Stone being able to kill everything, literally everything, planeswalkers, artifacts, enchantments. It's just, I think it's just too strong. But I mean, maybe I'm just being hyperbolic. Maybe I'm just being upset because as usual, um, Tron is a miserable deck to play against. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, comical. I don't think banning Ancient Stirrings does anything. They've literally Ancient Stirrings three times this game. They hit three forests off of it. It doesn't do anything. Ancient Stirrings is not the problematic card. If they Ancient Stirrings and hit an Urza, a Tron piece, and then you're able to play a Damping Sphere or a Field of Ruin or something and keep it off the board, that's totally fine. However, when they O-Stone your, your sideboard cards, like if you have Damping Sphere out, if you have Rest, rest in Peace out, not Rest in Peace, Stony Silence out, if you have all these cards that are, that are good sideboard cards against Tron, and all they have to do is go Oblivion Stone, kill every single thing you have, well, you know, you know, you're probably just dead. Ancient Stirrings is not the problem. All right. On that note, guys, this deck was actually pretty sweet, despite that last uh, that last match, um, which was frustrating because we seemed to draw every single one of our, our combo our our sideboard pieces. But nevertheless, Tron uh, powers through because all of their cards destroy all of the permanents ever. Oblivion Stone, Karn, Ugin, they all kill everything. So. Um what can you do? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued, feel free to check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Both of those are in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.